Here, I'm going to provide a brief overview of the plant hormone abscisic acid. Now, if you're wondering what this is pictured here, this is an open and a closed stomata, and it's involved in this process. So abscisic acid, typically abbreviated ABA, is kind of incorrectly named because it's not related to abscission. It slows plant growth. So when you see abscisic acid, please don't confuse it with abscission because it is not involved in that. It's important in drought stress and other stresses, and particularly important for causes these stomata to close. So we see our turgid um, guard cells here. If we add ABA or abscisic acid, it can cause cells to become flaccid, particularly the guard cells here, and the stomata to close. So when plants want to help decrease their water loss, abscisic acid can be a hormone that can be activated to help close the stomata of those plants. In addition, abscisic acid prevents seeds from germinating while they're still on the plant. The plant doesn't want to have its seed germinate before it falls to the ground and can kind of grow and prosper there, so abscisic acid is involved in that. It's also involved in suppressing seeds from germinating even when off the plant. Um, for example, apple seeds have a very high amount of abscisic acid. It takes them years um, naturally to be able to germinate. Uh, that's because of their high abscisic acid content. Abscisic acid also changes gene expression patterns, and it's considered an inhibitory hormone because it can block the effects of auxins. So keep in mind, we have a lot of these hormones that are interacting with one another. Abscisic acid, one of those, it's an inhibitory hormone. It can actually suppress or block the effects of auxins in the plant.